And so here it is. We've come to the end. The end of the book of Bereshit and the end of the year. And I think there's a lesson from one for the other. We speak of the five books of the Torah, Bereshit, Genesis being the first, and that is followed by Shemot. Why now did our sages feel the book comes to an end before we can open another book? Look at the story from beginning to end. From beginning to end, the book of Bereshit, unfortunately, tragically, is the story of brothers in conflict, Cain and Abel, and then came Yishmael and Yitzchak, and then came Yitzchak and Esav, and then came Yosef and his brothers. One conflict after another. The Jewish people could not have become a nation while brothers are in conflict. And so we come to the end, the book of Bereshit, because the ending marks the beginning of a new chapter. The brothers are reunited. Only then were the Jewish people prepared to become a people, to become a nation. We've come to the end of this year, of 2017. It's been a year of the American people being in conflict, disagreeing on most anything and everything. Indeed, the Jewish people in conflict, we couldn't even agree whether it was good that President Trump had announced Jerusalem as the capital of the state of Israel. It's time for all of us to understand we can't be a great nation, we can't be a great people when you're constantly in conflict. We have to learn what Joseph and his brothers learned. We can disagree without being disagreeable. We can walk shoulder to shoulder without seeing eye to eye on every subject. Have a good Shabbos and let it be a happy new year for the American people and the Jewish people as well.